people across parts of the country will be looking at the sky on Monday to see the total eclipse of the sun. Thousands expected to travel to northern Maine to see it. Those visiting the county will also be able to see a different sort of sun. If you didn't know this, the largest three dimensional model of the solar system in the western hemisphere, it runs from Presque Isle to Holton and it is about to get a new heart. Don Kerrigan has the story. Space. Aroostook County has a lot of it. So much space, in fact, that University of Maine at Presque Isle professor Kevin McCartney got to thinking one day as he drove north. On a whim, um, set my odometer after I got off on I, the interstate, um, coming up north, and found it was 40 miles from the interstate to here. McCartney is a retired professor of geology, but is also fascinated by the solar system. Yes, the sun and its planets, all eight or nine of them, depending on what you think about Pluto. So this is the second floor, so we're halfway up the course of the sun. He had a model solar system stretching down a college hallway, but wanted to really show the distance and scale of space. And 40 miles of mostly open road from Presque Isle to Holton, that shows distance. And in the distance from the sun to Pluto, is 40 astronomical units. Hang on, an astronomical unit is the distance between the Earth and the Sun, 93 million miles. Okay, back to our story. So this model is at the scale of one mile per astronomical unit. That is to say, Earth is a mile from here, and, and, and at least the textbook distance for Pluto is 40 miles from here. So Kevin McCartney pulled in hundreds of local volunteers to help create the main solar system a string of scale model planets lining Route 1 along those 40 miles. Earth, for example, is one mile south of the Presque Isle campus, here beside Percy's auto sales, and they actually take care of it. It looks like there's a little bit of corrosion at the bottom anyway. The Earth is small because the real one is small. The relative size of the planets is also in scale, meaning Earth here is just five and a half inches in diameter. And I can't see that far, but I assume there's a moon coming out of there at some point. Yeah. Oh. The moon is 16 feet away. Oh, okay. Two scale. And down the road, more than four miles, and way bigger, of course, is Jupiter. It's just over five feet in diameter. Again, all the planets in proper scale and proportion. It took four years to build this. Uh, the years worth of planning and getting the small planets in, then a year to get uh, Uranus and Neptune in, then a year to get uh, Saturn in, uh, Jupiter in and then finished it up with four years with Saturn. It All of this built by volunteers. Well, the main solar system model, the largest in this hemisphere, was built without money. It was all, all donations, all school groups doing construction of the various components. He says local voc ed schools built the planets and moons and structures. Volunteer workers and equipment installed them. And it happens all the time. I'm, I'm, I'm walking around on a, across the parking lot and somebody comes bounding up to me and says, you're Kevin. And I say, yes, uh, who are you? He says, oh, I, I never met you before, but I know who you are. I helped paint Jupiter. <laughs> and so this is something it is... Um, That's pretty cool. It is, it is. Flying through Aroostook County space, another four and a half miles south of Jupiter is the most recognized planet of them all, Saturn. 117 inches in diameter at the outer ring, where community support continues. The Mars Hill Rotary Club, for example, handles the gardens and the location for Saturn. All the way south to Pluto, which is no longer considered a true single planet like the others, instead a dwarf planet, so it's now in two places to represent its large elliptical orbit. This solar system has become a tourist attraction, but it has been lacking one big thing, a real sun. So this is the original indoor sun. Uh, we have a, uh, goes all the way up to the third floor. For 20 years, the sun has been symbolized by this creation of steel and paint inside McCarthy's old classroom building. But it is indoors and not always available to visitors. And it's less dramatic than the planets. So they are about to unveil a new, large, outdoor sun, appropriately, on the day of the eclipse. All of this, including the new sun, comes from donations. 
because people around here like it. It was built by the community of Northern Maine. So it really sounds like these, these communities have embraced this. Oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely. This is, this, is, um, this is something we've got that nobody else has. Not in Maine, not at this size anywhere else in North America. You could say this giant model solar system stretching down their most traveled road has given people in the county their own unique place in the sun. That was Don Kerrigan reporting. Pretty neat, right? That's going to do it for